Hello YouTube users, my name is Ripsy and today it is the 9th of June and that means that yesterday on the 8th of June 1.17 rolled out for Minecraft on a lot of different platforms and with that we got a lot of new blocks as you can see behind me. So we also got a lot of variations on some of these blocks as you can see in the creative menu uh, there are a lot of slabs as well and I was really excited to start building with some of these blocks to come up with a few ideas and I have come up with a couple as you can see in front of me. I decided to divide them up in a couple of different sections and I will also put in the chapters in the video so you can see like the time bar. Uh, it's split up in a few sections if you're looking for specific detail. Anyways, I won't waste your time anymore. Let's get right into the chairs. The very first design over here uses waxed cut copper stairs and I placed some acacia signs with an acacia door at the back to have a very rusty chair. The second one uses a couple of the oxidized copper blocks to make a bit of a wider chair and this nice blue shade and it would also go well with either warped wood or dark prismarine blocks. For the next one we have a bit of a barber, maybe bar chair uh, that uses a lightning rod at the bottom. Then I used a uh, oxidized waxed cut copper slab, which is a mouthful to pronounce, with a couple of uh, warped signs at the back. Over here I used the calcite blocks with a couple of polished diorite uh, stairs and slabs to make a nice uh, sofa. This one is a bit weird and you can see uh, through it a little bit so it would work better with a wall on the back. But this is a golden chair with a brown seat over here and just a little yellow banner to kind of uh, hide all of this. The next one is very interesting in my opinion. It is a natural chair that uses one of the azaleas with a trapdoor on the back and a sign over there. And I think this one would work really well in like a picnic setting or something like that. Then over here I have finally found a way to make purple work a little bit in my opinion. I made a amethyst and purple throne over here. Also using some end rods and uh, the white candles for a bit of variation and detail on the back over there. Uh, but yeah, I think this looks very majestic for maybe a fantasy style build. And I'm actually very proud of this one. I made a hanging deep slate and blackstone uh, chair. And I think I did a pretty good job on making it look quite round over here. Also a little red carpet for a nice seat to rest your butt on. Yeah, of course, these stairs have a lot of variations. You could use different blocks, but I hope you get some inspiration from this. Going a bit further to the tables, we have a nice copper table. Just use some upside down stairs with a slab in the middle. And I just put a cake with a candle on top of that. I don't believe you can do this in Bedrock Edition, but on Java and other platforms it will work. And also over here I place one of the glowing berries uh, into a pressure plate and you the way you do this is very simple and take a look at this normally you don't want to stand on the pressure plate because it will stay like this and look kind of glitched but it is basically just a uh, in this case it is a glowing item frame but you can use a regular item frame and just use a birch trap uh, not a trap door a birch pressure plate over here and it makes it look like it is laying on top of a little plate next one is a very simple square table that uses the deep slate tile slabs and also a deep slate tile wall then another natural table i just used two of the flowering azaleas put them next to each other to make a little table and this even looks like a small tablecloth that is laid on top of it going over to the first kitchen design and actually also the last kitchen design but that doesn't really matter i used the uh, dripstone blocks as a nice cabinet color and also a lot of detail that i put into here is uh, actually this deep slate tile block over here that makes it look like uh, a little area that you can spatter your food against instead of having it on the wall. But I also made this little furnace over here with a glowing uh, item frame and a black glass pane in it. And it actually looks like the oven is uh, on. And maybe you're preheating your chicken or something for dinner tonight. I thought that one looked pretty cool. Over here we have a small kitchen island design. Uh, just using a little cauldron with a lever next to it for a nice sink. A couple of candles over here for some more decoration and also a brewing stand. This one also adds for a couple of inspirational bits. First of all, these little bar stools over here with the moss carpets and the lightning rods. I think they look very cute. Also, I used a couple of the glow lichen uh, on the floor to kind of resemble maybe a sticky floor or a spilled drink or something. And then for the back, using the block of raw gold and a lot of brewing stands, it makes it look for a really nice background for something like a bar. And then the last table over here, uh, it's kind of special, using one of the amethyst clusters with a purple carpet on top of it and this one also would work very well for a fantasy themed build. Going over to the beds, the first one over here is a race car bed made out of the cut copper blocks. Also using a orange bed with an orange carpet over here 
And uh, I hope you guys can see kind of what I did. I used some of the cool blocks over here with some buttons on the sides. A uh, lot of stairs over here going like that. Bed over here with a carpet on top of that bed. Then a full copper block. And then just slabs on top of the coal blocks. Upside down stairs against those slabs with a slab in the middle. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, and I think this looks really cool. It might look a little bit better with just the regular quartz and stuff. But I think this one is also very cool and a nice variation on the regular race car bed. Then I decided to make a very fantasy-esque uh, canopy style bed. Uh, using a lot of the amethyst blocks, uh, crimson wood, a couple of diorite walls and also the hanging roots on top over there. To kind of, uh, I don't know, resemble a curtain or something. And then on top of it it's just crimson slabs with some purple carpet but also one very cute detail of this is because the amethyst blocks make a nice sound when you walk or place or break them so it makes a very cute sound over here i have a nice bedroom design for someone who really likes to flex the amount of gold they have uh, using the deep slate ores at the bottom and the top as a nice lining for your walls with some deep slate on the walls itself and then uh, these blocks are actually beehives or is it yeah they are beehives the top of them looks very nice in my opinion and just with a yellow bed with some gold surrounding it it thinks i think it looks like a very nice golden bed for this one we need to enter this building over here and right now it doesn't really work but when i kind of close the door off it is a very nice lit room just having the candlelight over here because i made this window with the tinted glass and because i did this the light from outside doesn't emit in here well the door obviously does a little bit that's why i blocked it off and yeah just to give you guys an idea that you can have a very dark bedroom in your house if you want so and also the block of raw iron works very well in this situation up next we have a nice bed that isn't actually functional but it looks very nice with the moss block and the moss carpets to really give it a nice subtle look to it and then finally i have a nice copper bunk bed uh, with the orange bed and the cyan bed over here to kind of match the copper colors it doesn't really add up but i think it looks fine like this moving on to the flowers this is actually a two in one but the azaleas actually go all the way to the top when you put them in their flower pot and that means that the chains really connect well to the top of this block actually anything would connect well to the top uh, because it is kind of like a full block like this but that makes it look like they are hanging from somewhere and it can actually look very cool like this. And I have a little trick with the, what is it called again? Spore Blossom, because uh, normally the inside of this block is actually yellow, but the uh, particles, they are actually green. So I thought maybe it makes a little bit more sense that the inside would be green. And the way that I did this is very simple. I placed a item frame with a slime ball inside of it. And then when you place the Spore Blossom to the side of this block, it will actually replace the inside with the nice green. Next up, I made a very nice tree using the flowering azalea leaves and the regular azalea leaves. Also with a couple of the glow lichen to give it uh, a bit of variation. And I put it on top of an acacia fence because I think the orange complements the pink very well. This is kind of a three in one, but the flower pot looks very nice on top of a lighting rod. In my opinion, it connects very nicely. So you can just put a regular flower in here. Uh, one of these plants that uses a bamboo piece with a leaf on top of it. But also the regular azalea with a moss block on top of it makes it look like a kind of a hedge or something. Next up we have a nice dirt bed uh, making use of the rooted dirt uh, because I think this color goes very well with the granite that is next to it. But this way you can mix in some coarse dirt, rooted dirt and granite for a really nice natural path. And then finally I have this very subtle change in the grass and moss to make it look like the lawn is mown. And uh, normally we would use something like green wool to resemble this. But I think this makes it a little bit more subtle and it looks very nice in my opinion. Then coming to the miscellaneous category, I made a small little plane and I think it turned out really nicely. I actually took some inspiration from a plane that Fwick built uh, a little while back. But I made use of the lightning rods to kind of make the propeller over here. And also the kind of connecting bits uh, onto the wings over here. And I think it turned out really, really nicely actually. The next idea over here is probably an idea that most of us had once we saw that the candles could float and that is the Great Hall of Hogwarts. I think it turned out really nicely. I did a kind of a miniature version over here. And then also as a bonus detail I made use of the tinted glass again over here with just some glass panes connected up against it. 
uh, to kind of make the room a bit darker so that the light really comes from all of the candles over here. Then I have a little cool cave or maybe a pathway inside of a cave design. Just using the drip stones connecting them from top to bottom. And I think this actually looks quite nice with these supporting pillars over here. And I just made some uh, lanterns at the back kind of hidden behind the pillars, but not totally because of course you can't really predict the exact point where the pillar is going to be. And then finally over here I decided to make a little pond using as much as of the gardening stuff that we got in 1.17 as possible. And I think it looks really really cute. A uh, couple of the rooted doors put some extra detail in the floor, a couple of moss and moss carpets itself as well. Just all of the new cute pinkish hue and uh, a lot of the new greens complement each other so so well. And I just love the idea that we can place stuff like this in the real world right now. It makes it look uh, a lot more overgrown and I just love the look of that. Uh, anyways, once we go in here, you can see the axolotls, of course, their pink complements the pink of the flowers and stuff as well, which is really, really cool. And then this uh, little water lily over here, just using four lily pads, a crimson trapdoor inside of the water with one of the medium amethyst buds on top of it. I think that looks very cute as well, and it's a nice detail you guys can use in your uh, pond if you want that as well. And then also for the large strip leaves, if I can do this in one try, you can actually go on top of there, so you can maybe, if you put this in front of a cave or something, make a cool entrance like that. And of course, they will flip up eventually. Also, the last thing over here, I made a uh, lightning rod holding up this tree, and that, that looks very cool as well. With a spore blossom at the back hidden over here, because the pink doesn't really give it away too much, but you get the nice green particles anyway. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh, make sure to use as much of these details as you want. And of course, let me know if you do, let me know which one you liked, let me know which one you didn't really like, because I love to hear your feedback and I read every single comment. My name is Rupsi and I'm really trying to zoom in on my face, but I am not able to use Optifine, so I think this will do as well. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully. Take care and you bye!